This is problem number two from section 5.3. They say use the rules for definite integration and the formulas uh, that they have here. Uh, integral from a to b of c dx is equal to c, b minus a, so on and so forth. Long story short, we're just going to do the antiderivative of what's in the inside, and then we're going to uh, basically look at that from x values of 3 to 6, meaning we plug 6 in and we subtract out 3 plugged in. Let's look at it. Integral from 3 to 6 of 4t minus 1 with respect to t. When I do the antiderivative here, that gives me 4t squared over 2 minus t. That's the antiderivative of 4t minus 1. Because I did the antiderivative, I've basically integrated, except for with definite integrals, I still have a little piece. I need to integrate this. Not only do I have the antiderivative, but I need to then check from x values 3 to 6 what the area is. So I need to plug in 6, and I need to subtract out 3. So I'm going to plug in 6 for t, 4, 6 squared over 2 minus 6 minus... Uh, 4, 3 squared over 2 minus 3. Let's go ahead and evaluate this. So four or 6 squared is 36. 36 times 4 gives you 144. So I have 144 over 2 minus 6. Minus, I've got 3, that's 3 squared is 9, 9 times 4 is 36, so 36 over 2 minus 3. 144 divided by 2, so I end up with 72 minus 6 minus 36 divided by 2 is 18, 18 minus 3. I go ahead and evaluate that, that's 66 minus 15, which gives you 51. So the area of this is 51. So our integration of uh, 4t minus 1 with respect to t from 3 to 6, 51.